Welcome back, everyone, for some more Super Mario Galaxy. Last time we went to the Gateway Galaxy and got the Grand Star and rescued it. Now we're going to be going to the Terrace. And we're going to be going to the first galaxy here, which is the Good Egg Galaxy. And as you can see here, there's five galaxies here. And, of course, like I said before, we're going to be going to the Good Egg Galaxy. Now, I consider this the first normal galaxy in the game, and I'm going to be playing the first one on here, which is six in total, but I'm going to be playing against Dino Piranha. And yes, there is a boss at the end of the stage, but as you would expect at the beginning of the game, he really isn't all that hard. And there he is right now in the egg. Good landing there, Mario. <laughs> now, as you can see, these enemies here are known as Off Tombas. They're not really that all that bad to deal with. There's a blue, there's the blue kind, and there's the green kind. And like most of the game, the music here is just fantastic. Yeah, anytime you see sparkles in that, then you know that there's either going to be star bits or coins there. Sometimes there won't be a sparkle, so you're going to have to walk over it anyway, but... Just make sure you walk over, like, flower patches or high grass patches, and you'll be able to find some pretty cool secrets. This is actually a good place to farm some star bits, too, because that comet constantly comes in, um has more star bits to deliver, and there's usually a bit around four or five at a clip for each comet that comes, so... Yeah, there's four right there. And there's another one now, question block. Of course, there's a regular Goomba right there. Taking that green pipe over there leads to the other side of this planetoid. Well, taking this orange pipe gives you a bonus area. This is actually pretty neat, as you'll see here in a few seconds. Pretty neat. As you can probably hear by collecting all those music notes, that was the classic underground theme from uh, the original Super Mario Brothers game. If you get tired and want to return to observatory, press minus or plus and select to return into observatory. But you can't bring back any star bits you picked up, so be careful. Yeah, anything that you collect in a level, it won't stay on you uh, with you unless you complete whatever stage that you're at. Which really isn't all that big of a deal, unless you're trying to go for the maximum amount of star bits and coins in the game. And of course there's a, a launch star right there. My friends are ahead, hurry! And we're going to be flying off to this peanut-shaped planet right here. And in this one, we're going to have to find five star pieces again, because we're going to need it to progress further in this galaxy. You just got to be real careful here to watch out from the boulders and also not to get caught in this mud. Now, I should say, if your timing is exactly right, you can actually spin attack those boulders by hitting them on the red spot, and you can actually destroy them. But I really wouldn't recommend it unless you're really going for some style points, but... Yeah, I wouldn't even waste my time, I would just simply avoid them. Of course, we get this small planetoid right here. Now those enemies right there, they will latch onto Mario's head, and if you let them on him long enough, they can actually drain his life, so you really gotta be careful. Of course, make sure any star bits that are out of the way, you can just use your Wii Remote for those. Of course, stomping on the Octumba gives you a point. 
And defeating this piranha plant gives you this vine right here that you can go up. Of course, watch out for the spike, uh, spiky plants right there, and of course, there's more borders. Now, you could either approach this one or two ways. Go the normal way, or go this way, which is a little bit of a shortcut. But I'm gonna take the shortcut, since I really don't go here too often. Just gotta just destroy the piranha plant, and go down the pipe. Now we're in this little area, which all you need to do here is just turn the blue block green, I mean, yellow, and then do the same thing here. Now watch out for this, don't do what I did just there, there are spikes at the end of that uh, red platform there, but really shouldn't be that hard to deal with. I'm just gonna get the last set here. And there's a, another launch star right there. And then this one will take you to where you would be if you did the, uh, the previous planetoid the conventional way. Of course you gotta deal with some more Octoombas, but they really shouldn't be that bad to deal with by now. Make sure you collect as many star bits as you can here while Mario is flying to the next planet, which happens to be the boss planet. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Dino Piranha. Well, at least his tail, anyway. There we go. It's not quite PD Piranha, but it'll do. Actually, to be honest with you, I think this thing is smarter than Petey Piranha, but... Hey, that's debatable. Yeah, this boss isn't too hard at all. You just gotta just watch out for him and just make sure you keep on walloping his tail. Of course, it's really not happy right now. I'm not sure what gender this is. I know I got... Call it a he. It could be a she. I don't know, but it's probably best just call it an it because I really don't know what gender it's supposed to be. But there you go. Defeating Dino Piranha uh, gives you a power star. But before I get it, I just want to get these uh, star bits and coins that are trapped in the crystal here. So yeah, not bad at all. The other power stars on Good Egg Galaxy aren't too bad to get either. Get to hear some fanfare there, and that, that's pretty much what you get every time you get a power star, so... Of course there's Polari right there, and there's Luma above Mario. Save my game, uh, might as well. And before I end this video, I do want to show off something else that's pretty cool. That you actually unlock later on in the game if you're playing this, uh, from scratch. Just gotta go over here towards the bedroom area. Don't do backflips, Mario. <laughs> If you go on top of the bedroom area right here, you can probably see it. It's trapped in this, um, uh, crystal right here, and it is a red star, which turns you into Flying Mario. And I want to show this off because there are actually a couple one-ups here, but the three to be exact, hidden in this, uh, Comet Observatory. First one was right under here. Just got a veer left here, and it's right underneath where the gate is where you go in order to get to the Gateway Galaxy. I haven't played this in a while, so it kind of took me a while to get used to the controls here, but... It's pretty easy to make Mario fly as Flying Mario, and of course the third one up here is right on top of the Comet Observatory. Now, needless to say, when a uh, music goes by fast, that means the time's about ready to run out. 
Even if it runs out over the abyss, don't worry. It is impossible to get killed in this comet observatory area because it did. Even if you fall into the abyss, it picks you right back up, so... But there you go. Um, there is, um, Good Egg Galaxy, so thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'll be